what's good wwe2k fans welcome back to the channel and thanks in advance for watching man do me a favor go ahead and hit that thumbs up on your way in and subscribe if you have not already so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into the topic of today wwe2k22 has been out for a while now and i've gotten a chance to like basically just experience everything you know that the game has to offer and i can honestly say man i'm having a good time with this game bro like this is probably one of the best wrestling games that's been out in a good little minute, especially from 2K, man. So shout out to 2K, man. Y'all really bounced back. I think this game is a very solid foundation that they've built, and I'm legit excited to see where things go from here, man. But even with that being said, there are some small features and details that I would love to see added into the game. So that's what we're going to be talking about today man is subtle features that we need in wwe 2k games so without further ado man let's go ahead and jump right into it i've said this on many occasions that this is a feature that will go a long way in terms of just visual cues and just capturing that essence of professional wrestling um having players limp around for a while on a damaged leg to sell the injury would just be dope to see man and one way they could pull this off is actually just to tie the limb damage system into the new stun mechanic. So, like, if you've been working a particular limb and managed to, like, do enough damage, you know, then you, like, activate a limb stun, I guess, for lack of a better term. And naturally, you know, damaging different parts of the body would yield different results. Um, for example, like, if you damage a leg, uh, maybe your opponent, instead of walking, they would start limping around the ring for a little bit of time and they wouldn't be able to run for the duration of the stun. Just little small things like that, man, I feel like would not only be like aesthetically pleasing, but it would finally give limb damage a legit purpose. This is another one of those small changes that would really be appreciated from an aesthetics perspective. I mean, seeing wrestlers actually grab or put a foot on the ropes would be so much better than just throwing up a text on the screen saying rope break. I mean, give us a few different animation for rope breaks, you know, that would add so much authenticity and just make the game feel more like a wrestling game. One of the most annoying things about fighting on the outside in like regular matches is having to stop the fight to break the 10 count. I mean, this wouldn't be so bad if the game didn't make us have to climb all the way in the ring just to climb all the way back out of the ring if we wanted to continue to fight on the outside. This not only breaks their immersion, but it also forces you to give up any advantage you had just to stop the count. Instead, we should be able to stand near the apron and get an option to break the 10 count. You know, doing so will give us a quick roll in, roll out animation just to break that 10 count so we can get back to the action. Like I said, I mean, it's a very small feature, but uh, I feel like it would be a welcomed addition to the game. While this list is really in no particular order, I will say that this is probably one of the most important improvements because of the potential effect it can have on the outcome of a match. I mean, I've been on a record praising 2K for the overall great job they did with the hit and collision detection in WWE 2K22. Unfortunately, those improvements did not reach across every aspect of the game as the pinfall and submission breakups are still pretty bad from both a hit and collision detection perspective. Not only do these breakup attempts fail to look like they connect, but in some cases they actually don't connect. And this can be confusing at times because if you're thinking you broke the pinfall or submission and you end up losing the match because the game failed to acknowledge the hit in any kind of way. I mean, I've personally had this happen to me on a few occasions. And fortunately for me, they all worked out in my favor. But I know it's only a matter of time before I'm on the receiving end. So with that being said, this is not so much a want as it is a need. I mean, we need a more reliable pinfall and submission breakup mechanic. I wouldn't hate it if they went back to the animated pinfall breakups. You know, it was just a more secure mechanic. I mean, in terms of accuracy and like efficiency, but at the very least, you know, improve the hidden collision detection in these situations. Another small ease of life change that I would personally appreciate is being able to pull off grapples out of a drag. I mean, I think it's kind of weird that you have to release your drag 
if you want to perform a grapple when you basically already have the upper hand. If I'm doing a standing drag, then I would love the ability to just go right into a lighter heavy grapple. It would also be cool if we were able to transition from a standing drag into a carry move as well. I mean, again, it's really subtle tweak, but I mean, it would be cool if they could make it happen. This is one of those things that would provide players more ways to get their opponent into desired positions and also having access to more of their moveset during grapples. From a front grapple, we should be able to perform a standing switch to transition into a back grapple, a gut kick that maybe drops the opponent to one knee, you know, setting them up for kneeling grapples, and maybe even a headlock takeover or like a double leg takedown to transition your opponent into like grounded grapples. I mean, this could also work in reverse. Like if you grapple a grounded opponent, you should be able to pull them up back to their feet or transition into another grapple position without having to release your hold. It would be something as simple as just having players tap the right stick in the direction of the desired position they wish to transition if they don't want to maintain a grapple or hold the stick in the direction if they want to maintain the grapple state. I just feel like this would just give players more control over what they're trying to do. Keeping this one short and sweet, I would love to be able to just perform taunts while holding weapons. I mean, I think this would just be a, a dope small detail. And I would really appreciate it if we could perform wake up taunts with weapons so that we could set up weapon attacks more efficiently. Like I said, man, it's something light, but I mean, it, it would be appreciated. And while we're on the subject of taunts, man, another type of taunt that I personally would like just love to see in the game are like physical taunts, you know, where you actually kind of engage with your opponent. Some things that come to mind are like Razor Ramon's two pick toss, uh, RIP Scott Hall, but you know, when he like flicked the two pick at you, hit you in the face with it, or like um, Penta's Cerro Miedo taunt where he like kind of mushes you at the end. I mean, even stuff as simple as like, you know, slapping them in the face or just like doing things to either humiliate or just get under your opponent's skin, man. I think it would just be a, a dope addition to the game. I would even go as far as to say they should bring back the interactive crowd taunts. You know, the ones where you can like go and threaten people in the crowd and argue with them and like take their signs and rip them up. I mean, just stuff like that, man, would go a long way, man, to just like help you build that persona that you really want to be. Especially like for heels, man. They, they need to put a lot more respect on heels. I could really go on and on about the ideas that I have for just taunts in general, but I think what I'm going to do, we're going to say that for another video. This is one change that I would love to see happen simply because, you know, there's already like not a lot of versatility when it comes to weapon usability. So finding more creative ways for players to use weapons is a much needed addition anyway. I mean, allowing us to like drag and, or carry someone like to a weapon that's like laying on the ground and perform like interactive attacks with it, you know, would just, I mean, it would be dope, man, for lack of a better term. I mean, like I said, man, it, it would just be another way to give players more variety when it comes to using weapons. And up last on the list, we got something that I've been heavily advocating for for what seems like forever and honestly i'm gonna continue to do so the simple answer being that it is literally one of the fundamental rules of a wrestling match i mean rope breaks and like five counts should go hand in hand i mean it's extremely off to have one like without the other one but aside from the obvious reason i just feel like having a five count would also improve some of the existing features as well Submission gameplay is a feature that would heavily benefit from having a five count as it just adds another layer and makes it more true to life. And being that heels are typically the ones that utilize the five count during submissions and illegal holds, it really gives the whole heel face dynamic more authenticity as well. I mean, like I said, man, these details are all about making the game feel more like a wrestling game and not just another fighting game. It's not about being overly simulation i mean as it is more so just wanting it to be true to the sport of professional wrestling but anyway 2k fam that's gonna do it for this one man i truly appreciate y'all for popping out and just giving me a piece of your time man 
if y'all like this type of content man let me know down in the comments don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe on your way out but until next time later 2k fam